Hey yo, N4 H and H here. Trying to work this uh, Russian expedition at uh, Togo. They're working a split, so I'm using the FTDX 5000 in split mode. So I'm I'm going to turn on receiver B. I'm already set to transmit on receiver B. So he's listening up, and what I want to do is I want to try and hear that. I want to try to find out where everybody that he's hearing is transmitting at. Okay, so that may be it. Let me try that. As soon as he does another thank you. so you can see the S meter. I'm running amp one. Running 200 watts from the radio itself. Using the doublet antenna that is cut for 160. 160 meters. I'm using the internal tuner in the KPA 1500 to match the doublet for 30 meters. But I'm not using the amplifier. He's working the Russian stations, and I think I may have even heard a Ukraine call. So I may not have a chance, you know, compared to their signal strength. JP. Oops. I don't want to be rude, but some of these other people are just sending and sending, you know. I'll increase my speed. I'm at uh, 30 now. Thirty words per minute. Somebody's sending on the wrong frequency. He's listening up. That's not him. Somebody trying to get him. And they don't realize he's working a split.
Okay, got him. Oh, wow, that was tough. Um, so, yeah, I think the magic number was he wanted 30 words a minute, and I was sending, I started out at 25. Um, I just, you know, I wasn't in his rhythm. And and just so you know, I sent with the uh, uh, FH, or um, what is this thing, FH2 controller. Um, and uh, when I sent him a signal report, I was using my, my paddles. And I wasn't real clean with the 599. I'm not used to sending it 30 words a minute. But, uh, you know, just so you know, um, the method I used to find out where to send was I switched over to my second receiver. And I just kept sweeping through there until I could hear the same call signs calling him that I was hearing him return to. So then you know you're there. You're at where he's listening up. Now, just so you know, a lot of times when they're listening up, they're the general rule is they're listening up 1K. And in fact, what I did was I went into the menus in the radio and I set it to where I long press, when I long press my split, and I, I'm in the dark here with my mood lighting, but um, when I press my split key, when you long press it, that's what sets your VFOB transmit frequency. And long pressing mine, I've got it set to where it takes it up 1K. The default is 5K, assuming that you're doing sideband split. Because a lot of the DXers, when they work a split on sideband, they're going 5K, they're listening 5K up. Well, um, here on, uh, let me turn off receiver B. Um, here on uh, doing CW split, they'll say up, but it, they may not be exactly at 1K up. They might be 1.1, 1 1.4. And look at this. This guy was, so he was transmitting at 114.86. I got through to him on 10, uh, oh, 10.114.86. I got through to him on 10.116.540. So really um, not quite 2K up. Um, or I should say, uh, yeah, yeah, 2K up. So what I did, though, but the trick is, and if you don't have a dual receive, if you've got like an FTDX10, you can still do that. There's a button on the FTDX10 um, that will allow you to, and I've showed this in another video, that will allow you to temporarily just press it in and it will allow you to listen to what your split frequency is set for. In other words, listen to your transmit frequency the, uh, to see if you can hear, um, you know, what uh, frequency everybody else is sending back to him on. And that's how you can figure out, you know, where to, uh, where to transmit. And so if you're doing that on an FTDX-10, a radio that has one receiver, you don't have simultaneous dual receive, what you can do is go ahead and set up the split. And on the FTDX-10, there's a TXW button on to the right of your VFO. Hold that down and you'll temporarily be listening to your transmit frequency. And then you can do the same sort of thing. You know, kind of try to sweep through there and adjust your transmit frequency till you hear what I like I did here, where I heard the the stations that he was going back to, and that way I knew where I needed to transmit because I knew where he was centered up listening. So uh, now they'll, they'll tend not to have a super narrow filter, so they're wish, listening to a wide, uh, you know, area in there. But remember, the pitch is all going to vary according to exactly where you're transmitting and his ears might hear a certain frequency or a certain pitch better than another. So when you start localizing, you know, on the stations you you hear that he is going back to, then you have found the magic area that is give, producing a pitch that he wants to hear. So that was the little trick there to try to get through. It's not always about power. I was running 200 watts. Anyway, I thought maybe uh, some of y'all might be interested to see that. I did it with the FTDX 5000. You could do it with any dual receive rig, what I did here, or even with an FTDX 10 or something like that. FT710 now could do it by uh, listening on your transmit frequency and to, till you find out where are the stations transmitting that he is hearing. And then, wow, there you go. You figured it out and you send and then he can hear you. So that was, uh, that was a good contact. Glad I got through to him. Um, well, I th hey, thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate that. And um, hope that uh, you found something helpful. 
and informative from that. A shout out to the Patreon team who bring these videos and make them possible. They all set the cost of running this channel, so it's very, very valuable to me. I couldn't justify doing this without the Patreon support team. If you'd like to join that team and help ensure that I can continue to put out videos like this, um, basically, you know, I like to do tip videos, uh, then go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. I'll put that here on the screen, and you can join. There are three different levels of participation um, and various different perks for each level. And then, um, you know, if you would, please click that like button, smash that thumbs up. That helps us out with YouTube's algorithms. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure and click the notification bell uh, and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Generally, you know, a couple of weeks, sometimes more if there's news to share. And finally, if you would uh, share this video, the link to this video on uh, social media, uh, text message, an email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, 73 from N4HNH.